Good morning. Good morning. Order of service this morning is the Order of Matins. Uh, begins on page 219 uh, in your hymnal. Our first hymn is number 408, and as we prepare for worship, the ringing of the bells. Haste, O God, to deliver me.
The Lord has brought me into the house of feasting. Your steadfast love, O Lord, extends to the heavens. Your faithfulness to the house. Your righteousness is like the mountains of God. How precious is your steadfast love, O God. They feast on the abundance of your house. For with you is the fountain of life. In your light we see life. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord has brought me into the house of feasting. The Old Testament reading for the second Sunday after Epiphany is written in the 62nd chapter of the book of Isaiah. For Zion's sake I will not keep silent, and for Jerusalem's sake I will not be quiet, 
until her righteousness goes forth as brightness and her salvation as a burning torch. The nations shall see your righteousness and all the kings your glory. And you shall be called by a new name that the mouth of the Lord will give. You shall be a crown of beauty in the hand of the Lord and a royal diadem in the hand of your God. You shall no more be termed forsaken, and your land shall no more be termed desolate. But you shall be called, My delight is in her, and your land married. For the Lord delights in you, and your land shall be married. For as a young man marries a young woman, so shall your sons marry you. And as the bridegroom rejoices over the bride, so shall your God rejoice over you. O Lord, have mercy on us. Be to God. Epistle reading, first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians, the twelfth chapter. Now, concerning spiritual gifts, brothers, I do not want you to be uninformed. You know that when you were pagans, you were led astray to mute idols, however you were led. Therefore, I want you to understand that no one speaking in the Spirit of God ever says Jesus is accursed, and no one can say Jesus is Lord except in the Holy Spirit. Now, there are varieties of gifts, but the same Spirit, and there are varieties of service, but the same Lord, and there are varieties of activities, but it is the same God who empowers them all in everyone. To each is given the manifestation of the Spirit for the common good. To one is given through the Spirit the utterance of wisdom, and to another the utterance of knowledge according to the same Spirit. To another, faith by the same Spirit. To another, gifts of healing by the one Spirit. To another, the working of miracles. To another, prophecy. To another, the ability to distinguish between spirits to another various kinds of tongues, and to another the interpretation of tongues. All these are empowered by one and the same Spirit, who apportions to each one individually as he wills. O Lord, have mercy on us. Be to God. Reading from the Gospel according to St. John, the second chapter. On the third day there was a wedding at Cana in Galilee, and the mother of Jesus was there. Jesus also was invited to the wedding with his disciples. When the wine ran out, the mother of Jesus said to him, They have no wine. And Jesus said to her, Woman, what does this have to do with me? My hour has not yet come. His mother said to the servants, Do whatever he tells you. Now there were six stone water jars there, for the Jewish rites of purification, each holding 20 or 30 gallons. Jesus said to the servants, fill the jars with water, and they filled them up to the brim. And he said to them, now draw some out and take it to the master of the feast. So they took it. When the master of the feast tasted the water now become wine and did not know where it came from, though the servants who had drawn the water knew, the master of the feast called the bridegroom and said to him, Everyone serves the good wine first, and when people have drunk freely, then the poor wine. But you have kept the good wine until now. This, the first of his signs, Jesus did at Cana in Galilee and manifested his glory, and his disciples believed in him. O Lord, have mercy on us. Forever, O Lord, your word is firmly set in the heavens. Blessed are those who hear the word of God and keep it. Glory 
Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus, amen. This, the first of his signs, Jesus did at Cana in Galilee and manifested his glory, and his disciples believed in him. It is in the Gospel of John, in particular, that the miracles of Jesus are called signs. Signs reveal things, point out things, identify things. So the miracles of Jesus serve to identify him, to teach us, first of all, his disciples and the crowds witnessing these miracles, but later we who read these things in the Gospels, to teach us who Jesus is, what he is able to do, the reason why he has come into the world. In general, this is our focus throughout this season of Epiphany. God is revealing to us his Son, our Savior, the one who has the authority to forgive sins, the one who has power over life and death, the one who opens the kingdom of heaven to his faithful people. This particular miracle, turning water into wine, we know as the first miracle of Jesus, the first sign, the first thing that the disciples witnessed Jesus himself doing. Last week it was the testimony of others, remember. The voice of the Father, this is my beloved Son. The Spirit descending on Jesus like a dove. The testimony of John, behold the Lamb of God. Here we see in Jesus himself, by his own actions, power over his creation the ability to restore the goodness of life, the blessings of life that have run out. It is Mary, the mother of Jesus, who brings the problem to his attention, saying simply, they have no wine. But this running out of wine at a feast, as embarrassing as it is uh, for the families involved, for the couple married, um, as difficult as it would have been, as painful as it would have been, likely meaning an early end to the feast. After all, who wants to stay at a wedding feast when the wine has run out? But this is indicative of something greater, something larger that affects all of us in this world. For the wine, as it is throughout the Holy Scriptures, the wine is a good gift of God. It is a sign of his blessing. The God who created the heavens and the earth and who continues to preserve and sustain life for his people causes the sun to shine and the rain to fall, the grapes to grow. 
that the people of God may harvest this good and gracious gift of God, manufacture it into wine and partake of the goodness of God. To live in that moment in joy, in thanksgiving, in this good world that God has made for us. The problem then, the wine has run out, is an effect and consequence of sin from Adam and Eve passed down through every generation of man, spread to every corner of the earth. The effect of sin that the good and gracious gifts of God sometimes run out or are corrupted in some way or decay in some way or are simply taken by the wicked. We do not know the reason why the wine has run out at this particular wedding. Was it simply a matter of poor planning? Was it a matter of uninvited guests barging in? Was it a matter of the guests who were invited overindulging misusing this good gift of God to the point of drunkenness and practically not leaving enough for others. We do not know. We do not know. And it does not matter. Because we know that in this world, even though this world is God's good creation, we know that everything, is corrupted by sin. Everything potentially dried up, run out, abused or misused by the wicked, abused and misused by ourselves even. And it is for this reason that Jesus has come. To set things right. To fix what was broken. To replenish that good gift of God that has run out. It is an interesting conversation that Jesus has with his mother before he does the miracle. Uh, when, when Jesus says, uh, my time has not yet come, my hour has not yet come. He is referring to his death and resurrection. His work of atonement for the whole world. His death and resurrection which begins the restoration of all things. That time had not yet come. And yet, at the behest of his mother, in a very small way, at that particular moment, at that time and place, in a small way, even in a subtle way, like not even, um, you know, in a way that all see and recognize, but only those who draw the water, only uh, his disciples who are watching closely sees what happens. But in a small way, at that place, at that time, the blessing of God is restored. The effects of sin are undone. And the good gifts of God flow freely. It is a foretaste. It is a little taste, a little glimpse of the fullness of salvation, 
of the restoration, of the overwhelming blessings of God that Christ accomplishes by his death and resurrection and that await us in the life of the world to come. And so there's a, a contrast here that I want you to consider, and this is uh, specifically the reason I chose the hymn for the day, the second hymn, um, All Mankind Fell in Adam's Fall. Uh, because the hymn, which is really a... Um, re read Romans chapter 5. Um, it is really what the hymn is, is based on. It's the letter of St. Paul to the Romans chapter 5. But the, the image of sin spreading through the world. You could say like a virus almost or like cancer through the body. Some disease starting with Adam and Eve. Starting with the forbidden fruit. Or even before that, right, Adam and Eve believing the word of the devil rather than the word of God. That single sin spreads and grows and multiplies and corrupts everything it touches and causes everything it touches to decay and takes everything in God's good creation and ultimately brings it down to death. And that sin well, from where we stand, has had thousands of years to spread. And we see the effects everywhere. How God's good creation has been corrupted by sin. How the good gifts of God to us are abused and misused by wicked men. We see how the devil twists and corrupts the word of God to lead people astray. We see how sin corrupts body and soul, humanity and all life on earth. And everything is progressing to death. And then Christ comes. And with Christ, in every word that he speaks, in every work that he does, there is a spark of life. It is a light shining in the darkness of this world. The death and resurrection of Christ is about restoration, a restoration that also begins in one particular place and time and spreads and grows wherever the word of God is proclaimed. wherever children are baptized in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, wherever the faithful gather to hear the word of God, to receive the body and blood of Christ in the Holy Sacrament, wherever Christ builds his church on earth to gather his people, wherever the people of God gather to hear the word, to pray, to praise, to give thanks to God, to teach others, to pass on that light and life of Christ into the world. The goodness of God, the love of God, the mercy of God spreads from Christ into the world, undoing 
the effects and the consequences of sin, at least in part. Replacing hatred with love. Replacing war and conflict with peace. Replacing fear and anxiety with comfort and hope. Replacing death with life. And that work of Christ, that which we have heard, that which we have received, that which is begun in us, among us, it will be completed when he comes again in glory. It will be completed in everlasting life and salvation. It is another way to describe the heavenly life that God has prepared for his people. All of the effects and consequences of sin er erased completely, eradicated entirely, until all that remains is good and holy and righteous just as God created it to be in the beginning. For us, it is the reason we gather to hear the word, to hear the gospel, that we too would see the signs, that we too would recognize who Christ is and what he has done for us, that we too would come in repentance that is recognizing the effects and the consequences of sin. Recognizing that what we see in the world around us, what we see in culture, even the, the thoughts and desires of our hearts are not right, are not good, are not what God intended to be. It's not the life that God has given. For sin and death have spread into everything. But thanks be to God that Christ has come. May his life, his light, his joy and peace and hope and comfort, his healing, may that spread into us and into all the world. May we also be his disciples, believing in him, rejoicing in the life that he has given, now and forevermore. Amen. Peace of God, which passes all understanding. Keep your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Amen.
Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Almighty and everlasting God, who governs all things in heaven and on earth, mercifully hear the prayers of your people and grant us your peace through all our days. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Almighty God, we give you thanks for all your goodness. We bless you for the love that sustains us from day to day. We praise you for the gift of your Son, our Savior, in whom we have redemption, the forgiveness of our sins. We thank you for your Holy Spirit, the Comforter, for your Holy Church, for the means of grace, for the lives of your faithful people, and for the hope of the life to come. Help us to treasure in our hearts all that you have done for us. Enable us to show our thankfulness in lives that are given to your service. Lord, in your mercy. Save and defend your whole church, which you have purchased with the precious blood of Christ. Strengthen your faithful people through the word and the sacraments. Make them perfect in love and good works. Establish in them the faith once delivered to the saints. Grant your wisdom and grace to pastors, teachers, missionaries, all those who hold office in your church, that by their devoted service faith may abound and your kingdom increase here and throughout the world. Lord, in your mercy. Preserve our nation in justice and honor, that we may lead a peaceable life with integrity. Grant wisdom, humility, to all who bear office in our land, especially the President and Congress of the United States, the Governor and Legislature of this state, to all those who make, administer, and judge our laws. Send your blessing upon all those who serve your people in law enforcement and in our armed forces especially Krista, Lindsay, Adam, Tyler, Dustin, Zach, Nicholas, and Nicole. Help them to serve your people according to your holy will. Lord, in your mercy. Amen. Heavenly Father, ruler of all things, your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, during his earthly ministry, healed all manner of infirmity, and cured all manner of diseases. Have mercy upon all your servants who cry to you. Help them in body and soul. According to your good pleasure, free us from sickness, from all of the effects of sin in a fallen world. Restore health. Restore life and peace to your people. We pray especially for Dorothy, Marvin, Zachary, AJ, Donnie, Gary, Sue, David, Elaine, Craig, Gerald, Jeff, Pat, Bobby, Dean, Alice, Ardell, Brenda, Shirley, Rhonda, Sandy, Marcy, Heather, Rhett, Sherry, Bob, Doug, Stuart, Josh and Susan, Ruthann, Leona, Bernice, Gloria, Mabel, Emma, Ruby, Irvin, and Esther. O Lord, in your mercy. O Lord, our Heavenly Father, almighty and everlasting God, you have safely brought us to the beginning of this day. Defend us in the same with your mighty power. Grant that this day we fall into no sin, neither run into any kind of danger, but that all our doings being ordered by your governance may be righteous in your sight. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, 
who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Let us bless the Lord. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Well, good morning once again. Uh, welcome to all of you. Um, a couple of announcements this morning. First of all, uh, regarding the prayer list, um, uh, we included the name Susan, but it wasn't printed uh, anywhere on the list. Um, uh, Susan Sahowski, uh, the wife of, uh, of our former school principal, Mark Sahowski, uh, suffered a, a major stroke uh, earlier this week and is still hospitalized. Um, so I know that uh, some of you have, uh, have kept in touch with the Sahowski family over the years, so um, uh, remember uh, to keep them uh, in your prayers as well um, uh, for, her, uh, for her recovery. Um, most important announcement today is uh, later this afternoon at 1 o'clock, we return here for the annual voters meeting. Uh, to deal with uh, all of the, uh, the church business for the year, uh, budget, uh, election of officers, um, receiving reports, uh, and, uh, and so on. Um, uh, Tim, is there anything we need to add or anything else we need to know about that? Just come at 1 o'clock. Okay. So you got time to, uh, to go home and get something to eat, and we'll... We still, still need more names for the ballot, huh? Always room for more. Okay. Okay. Um, there is a note in the, uh, in the bulletin uh, concerning uh, Life Sunday. Um, we are, uh, uh, Sow and Grow is uh, trying to gather some, uh, some donations to benefit Life Network. 
which is a, uh, a local organization that helps uh, specifically uh, women who are pregnant or who have just given birth, uh, help them with some of the uh, basic necessities and needs of, uh, of caring for themselves uh, and for their babies. So uh, please do uh, take a look at that uh, announcement. If there's anything, you, anything on that list that you can donate to help um, Sew and Grow would be, uh, would be very appreciative. All right. I think that's everything. Are there any other announcements today? All right. We'll see many of you back here at uh, 1 o'clock this afternoon. Have a good week. <laughs>